dollar stores are becoming increasingly increasingly unreliable. And not just that, but they're also going to become $2 stores. And if we aren't careful, they'll turn into $3 stores. Welcome back to another episode of Coffee Crisp News. I am your host, that Houston guy. And uh, yeah, we're going to go into an article talking about dollar stores, their issues, and, um, you know, the dissatisfaction of having to go to these places and not being able to find what you need or getting the right kind of service. Let's get into it. Why consumers are not shopping at the dollar store anymore. Consumer trends change frequently and sometimes overnight. And it seems that suddenly people are far less interested in shopping at Dollar Tree and other similar stores than they once were. Since the mid-1990s when Dollar Tree opened its stores, customers have flocked to its many stores for discounted products. They were so successful in their business model that many other companies followed suit and stores opened with the names Family Dollar, Dollar General, and Five Below. So Dollar Tree is the OG of dollar stores. These stores sold all kinds of uh, these stores sold all kinds of items such as candy and drinks, accessories, snacks, hair care, over-the-counter pharmaceuticals, gift wrapping, home decor, and holiday treats, all for far less than the vast majority of retailers. However, recently customers of the discount stores have reported that they stopped shopping there because the price, quality, and experience and ethics of the company simply aren't what they want them to be. Some shoppers noted that Dollar Tree stores are never air-conditioned and they are uncomfortable to shop in. Others reported that the sodas and candies that Dollar Tree sells simply don't taste quite right. Even if, even if it is technically a brand name like Pepsi or Coca-Cola. And many are worried about the quality and safety of the products that are after testing found that cookware sold at the Dollar Tree was coated with a BPA epoxy and PTEE. As well as lead and plastics that are dangerous for both the consumer and the planet. There are also those who have decided to skip the Dollar Tree because they disagree with the company's mistreatment of their workers. Dollar Tree has been found guilty of several OSHA violations and is even currently facing a $770,136 fine for disregarding employee safety protocols. With inflation on the rise and the cost of living increasing across the board, many would think that these downsides might be worth it to someone who desperately needs the discounts. However, some customers have realized that the Dollar Tree and its contemporaries don't actually offer the lowest prices in town. Although swing, seeing only $1.25 on a bag of chips or a pack of ibuprofen may seem like a great deal, the truth is that Dollar Tree only sells very small packages at that price point. But in fact, shopping at another retailer, such as Walmart, and buying a slightly more expensive item could save someone a great deal of money in the long run as their items come in larger packages. Here's an example. At the Dollar Tree, a shopper can purchase 40 capsules of 200 milligrams ibuprofen. However, at Walmart, they offer bottles of 100 capsules for $2.88. Ooh. So with inconsiderate and illegal labor practices, disorganized and uncomfortable stores, inferior products, and a higher price tag, many agree that there is simply no reason to shop at the Dollar Tree or any other extreme discount store anymore. Whoa. That's deep. Let's read some comments. Let's see what they got to say. Let's see here. What do we have here? Uh, Whistle Robin. The other problems I've had were stores being out of basic things I used to buy there. People have only so much time they can shop before they need to be home or at work or just off of their feet. If I have to go to Walmart because Dollar, doesn't, Dollar Tree doesn't have things I used to buy there, I remember the wasted trip and pass on that store next time out. That's true. That's true. If they don't have the shit that I want, I'm out of there. And I'm probably not going to come back for 
<laughs> I'm not going to come back, probably. Or maybe I will, depending on the situation and the location. I went into a family dollar tree in Stratford, Connecticut on December 23rd and found no Christmas merchandise. They had the entire front aisle of the stores loaded with Valentine's Day items. Crazy. The only thing I could think of is that it was owned by people whose culture did not celebrate Christmas. Well, he did go, to be fair, on the 23rd of December. Bro, like, Christmas is like two days. <laughs> so, that's a last-minute shopper. It's a dollar tree. You get what you pay for, and you can get China quality anywhere and pay more for it. If I don't use some vitamins as frequently, it does not. It does no good to pay more, use less, and end up throwing it away. Read the labels. What well, you got? What well, you can get? Good quality and quantity, but they don't always get the same stuff. Sorry, I do. We said because each item does not cost one dollar anymore. Some items are cheaper at Walmart, Smith, and ninety nine cents. Only thing worth going for is their greeting cards. <laughs> yeah, take that, Dollar Tree. They never seem to have product they advertise. Shelves are messy and not full. The store always looks dirty and unorganized, and I don't shop there any longer due to the price hike. Quality is not there. Quality is not there. One of my favorite uh, dollar stores that I used to go to, like they literally locked the door. They have to like look at you and size you up and then unlock the door so that you, the consumer, can open it. And then the sodas are never really that cold. It's almost as if they like turn up the temperature in the refrigerators. <laughs> so it's like, or they just turn them off completely because some of them damn drinks be all room temperature tasting. Like, ugh. You know, and they're running out of stuff and. They never really have many cashiers. If they have more than one cashier, that store is going to survive. But yeah. Hey. It's tough out there. Dollar store becoming two dollar store. And pretty soon it's gonna be a three dollar store. So let's think about that. Let's not live with that any longer. <laughs> let's make some changes, people. Together. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I am Matt Houston Guy, your host. As always, keep it crispy. Adios.